What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and tonight we're gonna be talking about an update on all DLC weapons coming to season four of Modern Warfare 3, some new footage that surfaced, plus even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and as a reminder, as of tomorrow, which is Wednesday, we're gonna be seeing the final aftermarket part as a part of season three. It'll be a conversion kit for the M16, turning it into a fully automatic weapon. Really excited about that one. I know a lot of you guys out there have really been looking forward to it ever since it got announced. And then as of next week, to close out the weekly challenges for our third season we should be seeing this specific blueprint for the bp50 which does look pretty damn cool and then we'll also end up seeing the release of the allegiances animated camo for those out there that have completed eight weeks worth of season three weekly challenges as a reminder we got all that information going up over on detonated.com for those that want to stay up to date with all things call of duty as of season three a lot of the weekly challenges did leak out prematurely several weeks before they even released in game so we already got that covered for you guys over in some articles but an interesting update when it comes to preloads for call Call of Duty, which is actually important to know since we should be seeing a preload for season four on like May 27th or May 28th, about a day or two before the launch of our fourth season. We should be seeing preloads beginning to release on Xbox, which is crazy because I've seen lots of questions over in the comments asking why PlayStation and Battle.net are the only platforms to get Call of Duty preloads. It's not just Call of Duty, but just about every game out there. Sometimes there are instances where you can see an early preload on Xbox, but that's very rare to be honest with you. In terms of seeing those become mainstream, like other platforms that's apparently coming soon to the Xbox ecosystem. Now, as far as when that's going to become available, I will keep you guys posted, but hopefully this is going to be something that we end up seeing for the release of Black Ops 6 and future seasons of that game. But this is a follow-up video to one I just made less than a week ago. So funny enough, I actually scheduled a bunch of videos before I went out of town and around the day after I ended up leaving, while these videos were unlisted, all of a sudden the usual leakers posted a brand new preview of season four content, new images, new details, but I still put up the video that I had scheduled. However, it is worth making some follow-up ones since there is a ton of new information. Now, when I put up the operators video a few days ago, I did end up inserting a bunch of new images that had released of some of the specific characters coming in our fourth season. There's even some updates in regards to weapons, which you guys will find fascinating, and we'll get to that in just a second. But today's video is sponsored by Control Freak and Steel Series. They went ahead and sent me the brand new Arctis Nova 5 Steel Series headset, which is beautiful. And I also got some new thumbsticks, grips, and even rings. Really appreciative of this little care package. I love the custom artwork on the box itself, as you'll see, but as far as the headset itself does go, it's really damn sweet. I mean, we have incredible audio quality for both console and PC with this headset. It's a very diverse headset with over a 100 sound profiles tuned by professionals, and there's even a companion app to go with the headset where you can track the battery life and select between literally a 100 different audio profiles from different games. There is one for Modern Warfare 3. We got some for Warzone. We got a phase audio profile profile for MW3 competitive and you do have an easy switch between 2.4 gigahertz that's an audio setting and even Bluetooth if you want to connect to a mobile device so you can literally use this headset anywhere you want on just about any platform and the best part you get 60 hours of battery with this headset which is wild I've never had a headset that lasted this long and I don't honestly this is really clutch for whenever a new season comes out and I'm streaming for like nine hours in a day and then I just forget to charge the headset during the next day now, there's also a high bandwidth mic built into the headset which is phenomenal I just haven't had a headset this cool in forever and I'm really appreciative of this brand new care package from Steel Series. I've been playing quite a bit of Wars on Mobile lately so it's also going to come in clutch to be able to use this headset on the go. But with that being said if you want to check out any Control Freak or Steel Series products check out the special link down below in this video's description or the pinned comment. Now, as far as weapons do go for season four we do have some updates from the usual leakers over on Twitter that I wanted to report on here in this video. First off it looks like the compound bow which is a marksman rifle in Modern Warfare 3 may indeed be scrapped. Now as far as the information does go with in this video, take it all with a grain of salt because even the usual leakers and data miners out there could be incorrect. Not sure why this would be scrapped. It's been a weapon that I think we've been talking about since I want to say season one. And for whatever reason, the release date for this weapon kept getting pushed back. I think we initially thought it was coming in season one, then season three, and then it got pushed back to what is now season four. But apparently it may not be coming to the game at all. It's presumably based on that same compound bow we had in the Cold War campaign. I guess something like with the sparrow holds in your specialist options from Black Ops 3 and 4. Maybe it's not coming after all, considering we already have a crossbow, but I think it would have been cool to still see a compound bow added into this game. Maybe they can make it a conversion kit for the crossbow, which I know wouldn't really make the most sense, but hopefully we still see something like a compound bow added into MW3. As far as the Beretta ARX-160 goes, this has also been a weapon that we've been talking about for quite some time, and I know what some of you guys are probably going to say. Well, what about the SOA subverter? That's technically the ARX, and that's correct, but if you want to get technical with it, 
outfit that is technically an ARX 200, not an ARX 160. Now, unless that's the same thing, according to the game's files, then maybe a Beretta ARX 160 is coming in the future. It looks like, according to leakers, this could be a scrapped DLC assault rifle. Now, there was also, I want to say, several weapons that were supposed to come to Modern Warfare 2 last year, which never saw a light of day or got moved into MW3, then maybe along the way, kind of got lost in translation and the weapons got modified a bit, had name changes. That's also possible at the end of the day. But as far as a new DLC weapon does go, which none of us ever really knew about, we have the PC9 submachine gun. New images did surface of what this looks like, and it's apparently for the Season 4 Battle Pass. We're not exactly sure what the weapons are in the Season 4 Battle Pass, but based on the ones that leaked, we could make some pretty cool estimated guesses. The PC9 SMG looks pretty damn sweet. I mean, it is based on the Ruger PC9 Carbine, reportedly at least. It looks like a lot of fun. Now, we didn't know about this weapon previously at least, and we didn't know what the model looked like either, so the usual leakers did post some footage and some images of what this is going to look like. I'm gonna guess Season 4 Battle Pass will probably have the Car 98 and then this SMG, and then maybe even a third weapon, never say never, but as far as the classified sector goes, that may end up being the Spaz, if I had to guess. We'll get to that in just a second, but I'm actually really excited for another SMG here within this game, but as far as the Spaz 12 does go, we talked about this previously, apparently you'll be able to use the Akimbo attachment with the Spaz, which is gonna be wild, probably better than the Lockwood amps that we just got not too long ago. I mean, dual-wheeled shotguns are dangerous either way. Obviously better up close, but if these have more range than the Lockwoods do, then these are gonna be scary in multiplayer and even Warzone. They'll probably be good in zombies nonetheless, but the Spaz 12 has been a pretty popular shotgun over the years, and it's already been leaked out. It's gonna be a shotgun within Black Ops 6, so I'm not sure how that's gonna go, seeing the same weapon within the same, what, seven to eight month period. Probably doesn't really matter. We had similar weapons in Vanguard that were already in Modern Warfare 19, and even Cold War, so that just meant you had duplicate weapons within Warzone. Maybe that'll be the same case again with the Black Ops 6 Warzone integration in a couple of months from now, but then we, of course, have the Car 98K Sniper Rifle. This is gonna be a pretty popular weapon of choice, and I think it's gonna be in the Battle Pass. I highly doubt they'll save this one for mid-season. The Spaz feels like it'll make sense for the classified Battle Pass sector, but a new image that surface of the Car 98, which I didn't cover in my previous video, and it's what looks like a blueprint for this sniper. It might be the Black Cell one, but it's probably unfinished from the leaked footage itself. There's a clip online of it being reloaded, of it being inspected, so the weapon does look pretty cool. It's unclear what version of the car it'll be. Will it be like the one from Modern Warfare 19, or maybe even Vanguard? People complained that the one in Vanguard was kind of a pea shooter, just constantly got hit markers, so I'm guessing it'll be one from Modern Warfare 19, which actually becomes the meta of snipers, at least for Season 4. I doubt it'll be inferior to any previous version of this weapon. But then coming towards the end here, we do have two new melee weapons reportedly coming. We have the shovel and even the spear. Now, any of the DLC weapons from this video could, of course, be saved for Season 5 or beyond, although I doubt any of the ones we just talked about are being saved. So, we do have the shovel and spear in a game like COD Mobile already, which is awesome. The shovel's been in World War II 2017, but a spear has me really intrigued as to how it could work. Will it be like the Apollo's Will Shield from Black Ops 4's Ancient Evil Zombie map, where you can actually throw it at people, or can you just melee attack with it while holding it in your hands? That's a little unknown right now, but I think there's a lot of potential with a cool melee weapon like a spear, which will probably be added in our fourth season, but if it isn't, I'll keep you guys posted with a follow-up video. To wrap up, though, we do have new aftermarket parts also leaked out. There's going to be several within Season 4, and I'm sure we'll get one every week through the weekly challenge system, maybe even one or two in the Battle Pass, whether it's at launch or with the Classified Sector. That's kind of how they did it with Seasons 1 and 2, but we do have a leaked blunderbuss aftermarket part for the Morse Sniper Rifle. You'll be able to shoot several bullets after firing just one. That weapon was a lot of fun to use in both Advanced Warfare and World War II, so I can't even imagine how much better it's going to be on something as good as the Morse through an aftermarket part. We also have an M4 amp apparently coming called the Bale Wolf, which will be a single fire 50 cal barrel. That's going to be pretty crazy. And again, it's looking like it's a bit unfinished. There's footage out there leaked out from people that force loaded it into Warzone Mobile. Might look a lot better than this and fire a lot better than this once it does release as of next season. There's also apparently an amp coming for the FJX Horus, which will give it a 50 round mag. Not sure what that really means though, because there's already a magazine that allows you to use 48 rounds. So maybe this is just unfinished, but there will be an amp coming for this new SMG. And lastly, we're going to be seeing aftermarket parts for the RGL, the Basilisk, and the Castoff 762, probably even some more for other MW2 weaponry, new Modern Warfare 3 weapons. There's still quite a bit of weapons coming to this game, but that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on all the brand new weapon updates we have for our fourth season? Figured I'd make a follow-up video since new information has been found, and I wasn't able to cover it in the video that I had unlisted just a few days ago. But with that being said, really hope you've enjoyed
enjoyed and peace out everybody